Welcome back to Boy Band Break, where we encourage you to take a break from your day, indulge in some (sighs) self-care, and have a little boy band snack. Yes. Uh, As always, my name is Diane. I'm Chinzia. And I'm Sophia. I'm Lydia, a.k.a. Mama Lou. (laughs) (laughs) It's self-appointed name. name. Sorry. Okay, so as promised, we will start today by recapping um, some events from October. Uh, really, the only event we have to recap is the big one. Oh. Ooh. What? NKOTB NYC takeover. Yes. Chinzia oh, was totally there. Was yes. <laughs> Sophia was there. Yeah. Ooh, it was fun. Guys. Tell us what happened. So, um, I find that every few years you need to take a Greyhound bus. Just to remind yourself never to take a Greyhound bus. Yes. So that is correct. Horrible. We survived, so that's exciting. Um, <laughs> so we are poor and did not want to pay for a hotel room, so we uh, slept on the street. Sleep on the streets. So what we did is we came in the morning of, on the Sunday morning. Um, we went to Wahlburgers. It was closed for a private function, so we went to the movies. <laughs> To watch A Star is Born. Which was actually really good. And there was a plug to charge our phones. Yes. Then we went to Wahlburgers for dinner. Then we went to the Apollo Theater. And it was a really good show. It really was. So it started around... You may have seen a live feed on our Facebook page. That Thank you to all of our new people who came. Because that, like... It started at 7. It was amazing. So and it started it around, like, 7.20-ish. They, then they were showing, like, old footage of them the last time they were at the Apollo Theater 30 years ago. Then they showed their new music video for 80s Baby. That's a good song, Which too. Which is a really good song. You're I really liked it. You're my 80s, baby. Nice. So, yeah, so we did that. So Sophia and I, because <clears throat> we couldn't get tickets together, we're in two entirely different sections. So Sophia was in the balcony, and I was in the very last row of the floor on the aisle. And what's funny is, is that I looked behind me at one point, and I saw like a bear and i was like what the hell is happening and then i'm like oh so it was naughty by nature was behind me but uh, i didn't really know them and i felt awkward take <laughs> asking them to take a picture i'm like i want to take a picture because they're celebrities but i also i don't know so um you felt weird that's fine i felt weird i didn't feel like it's i was in my good. element no worries it's not like it was not like eric from o-town was there or something but, <laughs> uh, exactly so anyway so Honestly, they came out, um, some guy introduced it, the Apollo stuff. It was really cool, and it it was nice to see how many blockheads were there that really appreciated it, who have been there um, at the original show and stuff. And it was just kind of interesting to see, like, a different fandom than we normally go to. to For sure. So we were kind of, like, on the outside, but we could still feel the excitement and stuff. This podcast is really expanding our horizons. It really is. 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 Yes. More boy bands, the better. And uh, my phone was dying, but I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to live... A video. So I did a couple from my Facebook, and Diane's like, do it from the boy band. I'm like, we have no followers. And then I was like, whatever. So I did it. And then suddenly it was like crazy it because exploded. people kept sharing it. And I'm like, yes. oh my God, we're at like 50 people. We're at like... It ended up, I think, being around 180 live before my phone died. But I got Amazing. pretty much most of the second half of the of the thing. Um then we went to go camp out, and that was uh, interesting that was an interesting experience. as well, yeah. And then we got on TV at the Today Show, and uh, I got a John hug, which I have no never. Anytime John hugs me or is anywhere near me, I never get a picture because people ignore John oh, and look at the John. other people. I apologize. That's okay. At least you got an arm. You got He's reaching arm. for you, I, so he knows. I tripped over my bag, so. And then, best part, they oh, gave I us also, these signs to hold up yes. that to advertise the mixtape tour. Obviously, you guys have all heard about the tour and have yes. tickets. Um, but at the very What's last the second... What's the Toronto date? The Toronto date is June... 19th. Yes. So I'm surprised it's only one show, but... They're going to add another one. Hopefully. Don't worry. Uh, so then at the very last moment, I put uh, listen or to Boy Band Or everyone will go to break. Buffalo. Yes. <laughs> That's true. true that yeah. true. So I had the listen to Boy Band Break on the Today Show. So, haha, if you were looking, we were there... Advertising I saw it. Great yeah. job. I took a picture of my TV. Yes. Uh, Sophia, do you have anything else to add about that? I got a hug from Donnie Wahlberg because yes, I did. told him that oh. we came from uh, Canadian Thanksgiving and he's like, and I was the last one because then their handlers were like, we need to go. Aww, and I was like, fantastic. I and yes. 
Sophia appeared in that the recap video. Yes, that new kids post. Oh. Yes, that is correct. Yeah, she's like kissing Donnie. That if you Ooh. watch that video, yes. that's great Sophia. job. So, good job, yeah, so. Girl. unfortunately, our sign did not make it in the video. But you that's know. okay. It's okay. And then bonus, there. we also um, uh, we Riverdale. saw Riverdale actors um, Luke Perry and, and KJ, KJ Appa. Appa. And so because we had signs <laughs> and markers, we wrote signs for them, pretending we were there for them. Yes, they waved to us, and then we went and got on the death bus back home. That is so. correct. Yeah. So a very all eventful all weekend. It was very fun. Uh, it was a good time. It was definitely a good time. And it was nice meeting all the blockheads that we did. So, yes. yeah. And they all follow us on Facebook now. So, so like, thank welcome. you. Thank you. Love you guys. What else did we do this month? Did we book something? Oh, my gosh. I think we did. Yes. We don't need to talk about that. Don't we? Do we? I don't know. We kind of already did. We're spending Easter. Does Diane not want to talk about this? No. Is it super secret? So oh, okay, the, sorry. So don't say it. Don't say it. We're a boy band break trip. <laughs> so all four of us and two of our moms are coming. And we are going to be in Vegas for Easter for Backstreet Boys. Woo-hoo! Yay! Anybody like to give us free tickets? We're excited. It turns out that'd be great. But we'll be buying tickets Please later. also don't come stalk us, though. Not that anyone. Oh, come on. Yeah, yeah. Get my autograph, please. I, I would love if you did. Just get Lydia's autograph. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Anyways, so moving on, what's the topic for today? Okay, so the topic of the day. Um, it is Remembrance Day. And while, you know, we'll take a moment and thank all of our uh, armed forces who keep us safe every day and have done so over the years, the veterans. Thank we, you. We wouldn't thank be you. here thank right you. now. For your service. For he- we appreciate for you. you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Um, however, it is also the anniversary of Soph and I seeing BSB in concert for the first Woo! time 19 years ago. Oh, really? Oh, We're my so God. Yes. Oh. So, <laughs> I thought that, um, because of those two things, we would talk today about some of our favorite boy band memories. We did do an episode about our boy band first, but we, I'm sure there are other memories that you have that stick out in your mind that just you know you hold close to your heart well the three of you think because i knew you were going to stare at me with your death <laughs> stares like why not, didn't you let me prepare for this because the last episode was 31 minutes that's why <laughs> anyways um, <laughs> i will go first I'll, I'll give you an example of what we're looking for here okay okay and Thank then you. you guys can think while i'm talking all right perfect okay so, um, in the in the episode about our boy band first, I talk about the first time that I met O Town, and they were the first boy band that I met. Um, I think a funny story and one that I'll remember forever, though, is the first time I met Nick Carter. Oh now, yeah, you know, as we've discussed before on this podcast, <laughs> Diane big, is a mute. big Nick, big Nick fan. Um, so I had to wait until. Uh, August of 2010 to meet this guy for the really? first time. I did. Wow. Yeah. I do recall this. Wait. I do. Okay. Um, and it was at a screening for uh-huh. um, his movie called The Pendant, which was oh, quite yes. the production. Right. It, yes. Beautiful. God bless him. Special. It sure was. Sophia so and I were also there, but we didn't know Diane at the time, right? Yes. No. Aww. We did not meet until like a year uh, later. I, talk, I was talking to her on Live Daily, though. <laughs> sure. You always forget this. No, I remember it. I just don't know. I feel like we... Well, whatever. Okay. Go Not part of the conversation. Always forgets. Go back Aww. to your memory. Um, so, um, <laughs> this was the first time I was meeting Nick. Um, as a child, people would always be like, what would you do if you met him? And I would be like, I don't know, but I really, in my heart of hearts, thought that I would faint. Like, I thought at Aww. 13, I would just pass out. Because my body would not be able to handle the <laughs> awesomeness that was happening. My body is ready. That. Um, that's more or less what happened without the fainting. Um, so I tripped over his feet at that. There <laughs> was, <laughs> you know, like we sat in the theater um, on the one side. We didn't sit in the center of the theater. And the lineup to meet him ended up blocking our entire aisle because like they were like now it's time for the meeting greeting people were like whoosh and they like run and ran into the line and we were like okay we'll just wait for this line to die down and sit down rather than standing yep. in this long line good call 
So we sat and we waited for the line to die down. And then when we finally could actually get into the aisle, uh, we got in the aisle and waited in line. And we're getting close to the front. And I'm with my friend, Justina. And she's like, are you okay? And I was like, no. And she's like, <laughs> she's like, what? Can I help you? And I'm like, nope, can't feel my legs. <laughs> and she was like, oh my God. And I'm like, it's fine. Just don't talk to me. And she was like, okay. So we walk up. I remember that I said hi Aww. and that he was like, hey, how are you? I don't remember anything that happened after what? that. What? You blacked it out? I literally blacked out. Oh, God. Aww. So apparently I was like functioning and normal. Uh, I, you know, gave him a hug, sat down. Justina did most of the talking. I just kind of just sat there. And then... He was like, oh, you know, whatever. See you guys tomorrow because they had a show the next day. I'm like, yeah. Although Trinity didn't recall this. Literally. Oh, hilarious. Literally, the next thing I remember, we were like walking away from him. And I was like, what just happened? And Justin was like, what? <laughs> and I'm like, no, seriously, what just happened? She's like, we met Nick Carter. And she, I was like, was I weird? Did I say anything weird? She's like, no, you just didn't really say anything. And I was like, yeah, I don't remember what just happened. Like, literally, well, at least you didn't pass out. I blacked out. And she was like, you did? <laughs> like, you know how children, when they experience, like, really bad trauma, just, like, <laughs> their brain shuts off. Yeah. And they don't, yeah. they don't process what's happening because okay. it's, like, too much for their little brains to handle? That's that was me. Extreme, oh. buddy. So Nick Carter is traumatic to you. <laughs> no, I just feel like too like mind blowingly something okay. I thought would never happen. Um, Interesting. It's a true story. This is not. This is what happened really to a friend happened. Of a friend of mine. Of course. Okay. And it's. I literally left and was like, "Well, I can die happy now because and I just now, met Nick Carter." But you don't remember it. <laughs> That's fine. She I have picture, many more. Though. I have a picture a to remember it. Good. I have many more memories after. But nice. I had to build Very up. Nice. I had to build up stamina. The confidence Smart. as well Smart. to remember. His these. eyes are very beautiful. I know. Oh my yes, God. Nick are. has that like. I got caught in the tractor beams. It's once. true. It's yes. true. Okay. Damn. Just Did take you all have of any my ideas money. while I was talking? No. I was actually <laughs> listening to your story. All I keep thinking of is Aaron Carter, and he's not a band, so I gotta like keep well, he's thinking boy band deeper. Okay. Lydia, what boy bands have you met, though? I don't know. You've met NSYNC. I definitely met NSYNC, but like that wasn't like a, like, a, oh, my clothes came off kind of situation. It was more like... <laughs> Did the other time? No! no. <laughs> uh, there was... Uh, yeah, okay, so I think... <laughs> No, okay. Well, we met we met in sync at that mall, Pickering Town and then Center, Nona April borrowed 17th, a she borrowed a stool to sit on, and she peeled me an apple. <laughs> I remember the apple very fondly because I'm like, oh yes, that I really needed this. Nona, Didn't thank you. Did you attend that thing? With <laughs> you did challenge for the children yeah. as well. When we, we went oh, to Miami. we did do challenge for the children. That was that was at the end of the in sync era. You could tell that there was some animosity. Yes, yes. Brewing, things were happening. Brewing, yeah, yeah. 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 That was the height of Lindsay Lohan's career. Uh, a lot of weird stuff happened. Fun in, fact: We're like, should we take Miami. a picture with Lindsay Lohan, or should we go eat dinner? And then we're like, eh, let's, let's go, go eat, eat dinner. dinner. That's so that's what happened. We could have met her, and we could have changed she was, her wait, life. She was dating the guy we from that '70s show. Her life. Yes, but we yes. foolishly Wilmer got tacos instead. Yes, that's who. Yes. Anyways, um, yeah, like uh, I just, you know what? Crap. Like, I okay, think I, share just, I might have the same thing. I might have the same thing as you, where just like it's such a like a monumental moment that like brains like. And it just shuts off. Like it goes on autopilot, and yes. like your body's still moving, yes. but you just yes, absolutely. Whereas Sophia and I get verbal diarrhea, and we just talk and talk and talk. So that's was that the one where you told Nick Carter that he looked like he pooped his pants? There's a, oh, there's a good I memory of that. Yeah, there there you go, Chinzia. Did I Tell? say that one? No, you haven't. Okay, that's a good one to say. Go ahead. So it was Nick was doing a mini Canada tour. It was. Mississauga, Belleville, in Montreal. Yeah, Mississauga. Like, why is those? And I no was really sick show was 10 minutes that, from a house. Uh, tour. That's, That's pretty good. So sick. So oh we're like, God. okay, oh no. let's do Montreal because we want to see, because that was announced first. So we're like, yes. it's a Saturday, sure. So Sophia and I are like, oh, let's do it. Then they announced Mississauga on like the Thursday and we're like, okay, okay. we can do that. And then they announced Belleville on the Friday and we're like, okay, well, I guess it's on the way. So let's do it, which is funny because during the um, meet and greet, 
he we we're like why are we in belleville and he said because it's halfway there i don't know this is it so i'm dreaming and yet he performed there what five years later yes, again exact same theater never mind yes <laughs> uh, anyways so this particular i wouldn't say that, okay so this story is i was very tired so we As had done usual. the Mississauga show. I was driving my friend back to Grimsby. That's I took true. a five-hour energy drink. It did not work. So I was super tired until I got to my home, walked inside, and then the five-hour energy drink kicked in. So then oh I, didn't really, I slept maybe two hours. Then we drove to the middle of nowhere and had gross fries. And it was terrible. Anyway, so over there, I'm tired. And Nick, we were very annoyed with Nick because he had a song that was released just for Canadians called Love Can't, Wait. Love Can't Wait with Sean Desmond, I believe, right? Sean Desmond wrote the song, but he doesn't appear on it. But he was opening act. So we're Correct like, Amundo. oh, no, just in Mississauga. I don't think he opened in Belleville in Montreal. No, because you guys saw the other that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. As far as he didn't use the Avril Lavigne song, that's a Canadian artist. No, no, so that was years later. Well, oh, oh, years sorry, ago. sorry, different time. So, anyways, okay. we're like, what the heck? Why aren't you playing that song? So then at the time, Wonderful Union was called Ground Control, and we're like, I had wrote a song like Ground Control, something's wrong. Nick yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so we're I'm there. Taking off I'm tired. My pants. Whatever. I had to take <laughs> off my pants, which was also a funny thing. So we're there, and uh, this girl goes. So he's like, "Oh, does anybody have any questions?" And this girl goes, "Oh, um, Nick, because your song, um, what is it? Just can I can I have a hug?" So he's like, "Just one kiss." No, no. So he goes, "Can I have a hug?" And she's he's like, "Okay, sure." So he goes and gives her a hug because he's like, "Okay, whatever." This is weird Q and A. And then the next girl's like, "I would like to build off of that girl's question and tie in your new song, Just One Kiss." So can I have just one kiss? And he's like, "Uh, okay, sure, but it's gonna be on the cheek." And that, oh, I can't even say this story. No, so you can. can. No, yes, you so can. Then I was like, well, if it's that easy, can I have, so to my friend, Sophia, I thought I said under my breath, can I have, to, about Nick, can I have just one um, F, I guess? Yes. <laughs> and then I started laughing, and all the people around us heard, oh and then I started snorting, and oh, he's no. like, he's snorting. <laughs> And oh, then no. me, and then, yeah, oh, that wasn't the story. That was no, the story. So no, then no. he gets back to the stage, and I'm still, like, in hysterical laughter. And he's like, who was at the Mississauga show yesterday? And we're like, oh, we were, like, 98% of us yeah. were there. There was two people from Belleville that weren't, but everybody else was there. And he's like, guys, what didn't you like about the show? Uh-oh. And everyone's <laughs> like, oh. Nick, there's nothing you can do that's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. And he's like, no, no, seriously, what didn't you like? And I'm like, your pants. And he's like, so everyone's like, we love you. And then I'm like, your pants. And he's like, my my pants. What's wrong with my pants? And I'm like, it looked like you crapped yourself. And then I was like, did I just say just that? To clarify right? for anyone who wasn't there, he was they were wearing very those tight. pants that were like a drop crotch that like yeah. almost comes to the knee. And yeah. like really tight legs. Very yeah, and then yeah. tight legs. Yeah. And then just very baggy around the crotch and butt. Yeah. So he's like, what? And then I go, like, your pants were like super baggy and it literally looked like you took a shit in your pants. So, <laughs> and then he's like, <laughs> and then he kind of looks at me like I have three heads. This is and Nick Carter, like, by the way, not his PR team. You were telling Nick Carter. This is Nick Carter. And then he's like, then he's trying to like spin it like, well, you know, I need a lot of space in my crotch area for like <laughs> when I see all the good looking ladies in the audience. And, he's like, and all the girls are like, oh, and then he, so he says that and she's still laughing. And I go, no, it still looks like you crapped yourself. And then I'm like, why am I still talking? Like, that looks like amazing. Like, so, yeah, amazing. that was a good time. So that's, uh, but my favorite moment, again, of Nick. Um, Shocking. <laughs> is when Diane and I went to go see him in Chicago and we're like we hadn't seen him in a while and we're just like and we had some issue in Atlanta and stuff Would so he's like, like he's not gonna issue? no no uh, but well I, I did have I, I, issue, I have no idea what like, the issue was okay it was we're not gonna issue. talk about it for next time was he did not recognize someone for a moment oh, and then, uh, that person oh, got mad I believe it was more than a moment uh, oh and sorry then got sorry mad it was pretty entertaining anyway so as we're like walking up we normally see a lot of the same people when we go to these cons and we didn't see anybody we recognized at all Uh-oh. and it was very last minute so it was just diane and myself um sophia couldn't come uh because greek it was greek easter. easter so as we're like walking up and we're like oh god i hope he recognizes us as soon as he sees us his like face lights up and Aww. he opens his arms and goes my peeps and we're like, Aww, that's all so is for that was really cute you. yeah Thanks, that's so bestie. Cute. then we beat him with bats and then we beat him with bats but he told us too so Foam. There, it was like it's an inside joke thing. Sophia, <laughs> do you have a do you have a memory, Sophia? Um, well, my memories 
memories are gone. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> my memories are gone. Um, oh, you had a lot of fun. My, f- um, I'm going to say the first memory that I can think of of meeting, like, um, was the Brian. I was going to say Brian. Brian. It's definitely Brian. Yeah. Uh, when I went to Atlanta and he had a... Um, a VIP dinner. That was the first one. Mm. Um, and he did like golfing. So we got to spend a lot of time with him. And um, I at, like I requested like all these Backstreet Boy songs. And the one song that I requested was Everyone. Um, and I asked him, oh, can you come and like dance to the song? Um, and he didn't want to because he's like, oh, no, if you if you ask me, then everyone's going to want blah, blah, blah. And then his sister-in-law like got him Aww. to come into the dance floor so we danced together with obviously the other people that were there as well uh to the everyone song so that's a good memory that i have and there was like photo booths and stuff there was and that's the second game. year that we did it um and i went for that one as well in 2011 um and yeah and we there was like photo booths there was a dunk tank oh cute um so it was a really good time and that was your first time ever traveling, right? Uh, in 2010, that was my first time traveling on my own. Oh, um, for my steel. Events. Well done, madam. Yeah. And then after that, I met Nick at in Ottawa for his birthday surprises. I think you said that one already, no? I did. Yeah. But that's a good memory as well. It is. Can I just say the Aaron Carter pizza yes, thing go for it, really quickly? I know he's not a boy band. Boy band I know, adjacent, but he's fine. A boy band adjacent. Thank you. Um, so like uh, I loved Aaron Carter as a child. I was like, oh my god! Like he is like most legit. people did. All Don't worry. My like thoughts and like he follows us on December Twitter. December seventh, nineteen eighty seven. He follows our account what? on Twitter. <gasps> oh my god! What? Really? Yeah. yeah. Okay. On the boy band <laughs> break okay. account. So you could be listening right now. Oh my god, Aaron, I love you. Okay, sorry, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. sorry. Who something came over me. I have to Anyways. say, Lydia broke her arm, and we were going to the Aaron Carter concert like two days after the cast was supposed to come off. Yes. So she kept it on just to give herself some leverage. Yeah, that's amazing. Wonderful. Yeah. Why not? Right? Well, yeah, Everyone was, else was doing it, it was, probably. Dude, like you know? that arm, like when you take the cast off, it's smelly and hairy, and it's like the muscle is missing. So I'm like, yeah, it looks nicer when the cast is <laughs> off. Anyways, but uh, yeah, just uh, chinzia. Okay, so like. Okay, so like when you get married and stuff, you're like, oh, this this guy is my boy band forever, this human that I've married. Um, but then like, you know, there's always that like, oh, but Nick Carter's kind of cute still. And oh, Aaron Carter's kind of cute still. Anyway, so Chinley's like, you're yeah, right? yeah. So, so Chinley's like, okay, Lydia, um, Aaron Carter is going to be over the border, at, so Buffalo, and he's going to be at this pizza joint. This is by, like Buffalo Pizza Joint or whatever. I'd like to point out that Rochester, before this, before Lydia got married, I took her to an Aaron concert co- Aaron Carter concert in Buffalo and made her a sign even though she was engaged and Aaron like shouted out to her really quick. I was like, oh my God. I saw that okay. sign. That was a pretty sign, good sign. Something along the lines I'm of, engaged, but uh, tonight I'm, I'm all, all about, about you. you. I'm all about you. Yes. Yes. Oh my God. Woo-woo. Anyways. So, so yeah. So mm, pizza place. Pizza place. Um, I was a little bit underwhelmed meeting him. Uh, I think he may have been uh, he engaging was in some, in some, yes. in some uh, extracurricular extra activities in yep. the van before he yes. came in and smelt a little bit like the extracurricular extra yep. activity. Um, and then, um, yeah, we did, we did get to sit with him, though. And then we got, like, okay pizza. And, and I bought a shirt later. It was, it was all right. It was an all right day. But, yeah, I was just the like. The one in Toronto was a lot better. Yeah. yeah the one in Toronto. So I think we hyped it up too much for Lydia because the Toronto one was really good. <laughs> really? Yeah. He was, like, coming around to all the tables. He sat at us for a good while. The, we yeah. kept pulling. He sat on you. Oh, my. No, he what sat we by we, us. We pulled a chair oh, up pretty sure specifically you to have him there. Yeah. And close We're like, enough. hey, buddy, there's a chair right here for you. And it was it was. Was that before planning. or after the pizza joint? It was the before. Okay, so like there's obviously a drop in quality between yes. what happened in Toronto and what happened in Buffalo. That is yes. Correct. Okay, yes. so Aaron, you know, you could just come to I Hamilton. I feel like he also that's got fine. money, so that's probably why. Like he was rolling in the dough at that time. Oh, uh, maybe. The pizza dough? That's oh. right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, the, and he's like, oh, I got more money now. So then he's probably why he started the extracurricular activities. Again. Perhaps. Yes. Perhaps. So like I, I was slightly disappointed. I'm like, my hero. Like, you we know apologize. when, like, you see your hero, you know, and doing something unsavory, you're just like, I didn't think you were like this. But whatever, they're humans, and move He's on. doing better now. He's doing much better now, so. Which okay. girlfriend is he on right now? Uh, this one is the one for life now. Oh, cool. Apparently. Good. Oh, he good. bought her a dog. They bought a house together. Lena Valentino. Oh, I didn't wow. know they bought a, a house. house. and a dog. And okay. he's calling her wifey on Instagram. All right. So. Sorry, right, moving along. All so. right, uh, good, good luck to you, Aaron. I hope I wish you all the best. I'm in Hamilton. If you need to know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lydia. Um, Kenny, I'm sorry. 
<laughs> My husband doesn't listen to the podcast. It's fine. It's, we're all good. How supportive. Okay. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Anyways, D, is it enough time? I <laughs> Yeah. What? Let, let's wrap up for today. I feel like we could go on and on and on. I, know, I, I can't remember what we've talked about so far. Like, did we talk about us shopping with Chris in Kentucky? Yeah, that was there's yeah. so many. There's, so many, there's like, a lot of Kirkpatrick, memories now. Chris Kirkpatrick, the memories kind of. Like I, I did else. have one other quick yeah. anecdote I that yes, I was going to say yes. that I feel like uh, I, I I tell everyone and it like defines my boy band fandom. Mm. So uh, when I was fourteen, <laughs> uh, I. That Millennium album was coming out. Back to Boys Millennium album, album was coming, yes. coming out. Everyone at this point in my life knew that I was absolutely obsessed with Backstreet Boys. I talked about them 24 7. I literally would be like a uh, freaking bloodhound. And like if I heard their song playing in a store, I'd be like, we have to go in that store. My mom would be like, why? And I'd be like, we have to go in that framing store. And she'd be like, oh, okay. Why are we and then walking we'd... into the sex shop? <laughs> <laughs> and then she'd be like, oh, my God. I want it that way. It's playing in here. All right. Anyway. <laughs> um, so I had a plan mm. to skip school. You badass. And go buy the CD the day that it came out. I believe it was May 18th. That is okay. correct. Um. And I was like, okay, we're going to, me and my friend, we're going to skip school and we're going to buy the album and then we're just going to listen to it all day because uh, it's going to be that amazing. Yeah. Except. Your I, mom was on to your plan? No, I, <laughs> I, I, I was a badass, but like within parameters. She was right. allowing me to do this. Oh, okay. okay. Um, so I got strep throat. No. Oh, yes. I no. remember this story. Remember and this so story. I was. I had been at home sick for almost a week or something because strep throat is super contagious. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was like a really bad case. Like they thought I had mono. Oh. It was bad. Oh, dear. Anyways, so uh, the day, a couple days before, um, my friend calls me up to be like, hey, why weren't you at school today? And I'm just like, hey. She's like, oh my god, hey. you sound terrible. <laughs> so <Sounds> sexy. Demonic <laughs> <laughs> boy. Know how to, like, ah, okay. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. Continue um, on. And she's like, oh my god, you sound terrible. I was like, oh yeah, I'm really sick. La la la. And then she starts talking about the Baxter Boys because you know we're friends, and she knows that like that's what we talk about. And I'm just like, yeah. And she's like, oh my god, are you dying? <laughs> and I was like, no. She's like, I just talked about the Baxter Boys for five minutes, and your only response was yeah. And I'm like, well, I'm, I was like super sick. So she goes to school the next day and everybody's, I wasn't there again. And all my friends were like, oh my God, like, where's Diane? Like, what is going on? She never misses this much school. And they were, cause I she's was kinda, a nerd. I'm a nerd. And so they were, she was like, oh guys, she's like really sick. And they were like, yeah. And then she was like, yeah, I brought up the Backstreet Boys and she didn't even say anything. <laughs> And they were no. like, oh, my God. Is she in the hospital? <laughs> Should we make a card? Like, is she dying? And she's like, I don't know. So, yeah, it's just, that was just like a really funny story. And then when I finally returned back to school was after the album came out. Oh, and did your mom at least buy it she, My mom did go to the mall on oh, the day and buy it for me. Oh, that's nice. Nice mom. Um, along with some other, like, hey, BSB. Paula paraphernalia because she felt really bad and like cough medicine <laughs> <laughs> also cough drops and then uh when i returned back to school one of my friends was like did you get the cd and i was like yeah yeah i did and he was like okay good because my mom also bought one and i'll take hers and give it to you Aww. because you d and i was like oh my god oh that's yeah. so nice Aww. so yeah really uh something i'll always remember that's sweet excellent very nice all right. Well, we could talk on and on and on about this. Maybe maybe we'll do another one of these episodes next month or in a couple months. If you have any good memories of you with any boy banders, comment below. Hey, Please. maybe we can read them on air. That'd yeah. Be cool. yeah. Yeah. Woo. All right. Thanks for taking a break with us, you guys. We'll see you next week. Until next time. Thanks for listening. Bye.